This video will show the creation of a multiple components report. Okay, so I've run this program twice now. I go to our reports, choose multiple components. Now the option I'm going to choose to start with is standard. We do have various options. Run the report, so you can see we have the identifier here, component one and component two, and its results are directly underneath. Now choose by dimension. Now you have some options on the right hand side. I choose to select various headings or unselect them. So this time we have the identifiers down the side. Nominals and upper limits, and then at the very end we have the values for each component. You notice we have some blanks here. So I can actually put a character in there, or characters, and this character is going to put some asterisks in the no data string box. Okay, and that blanks things out. So that's quite useful if you're exporting the data for third party softwares. You can also change the number of cells to the identifier. I'll choose eight cells. And you notice now I have eight individual cells which make up the identifier row. Okay, I'll choose by component. So down inside we have identifier nominal, up and low and geometric limit. And below that we have each component. So component one and component two. Now separate sheets will put all the reports on individual sheets. So we have report one, or component one, and at the bottom we can tab along to component two. Thanks to get back to standard. Okay.